In this tech tutorial, I'm going to show you how to trigger an email sequence or an email campaign that's going to be sent automatically as soon as somebody joins your email list. What that means is that after somebody subscribes to your newsletter or downloads your lead magnet or free gift or whatever, they're going to receive a welcome email. They're going to receive an email the next day, the next day after that, the next day after that, and so on. The page that you're seeing right now is an email sequence that I have when somebody joins my email list. I have a five day email sequence and I have it set up this way. So the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, and that's the process. Now, in order to set it up and create that trigger, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to create a new campaign. Now, the way to do that is you would hover over emails and you're going to click on campaigns. I'm going to do that where it opens in a new tab and then you're going to click on create campaign. So we're going to call this email sequence demo and then you're going to choose the sender email address. Give this a label, meaning give some reminder on what this is about. So for example, this is the email sequence after someone downloads XYZ lead magnet or whatever. Click on save. Now you're going to click into it. Now you're going to create an email, email number one. That's the subject line. So you got to have a subject line. I usually pick classic editor. If you want to do visual editors, you want to add images, things like that, use the visual editor. I personally write text based emails. So I use the classic editor. Then you're going to click on save. Then you're going to write the email. So text, email, etc. Now you're going to say, Hey, and substitute variable first name. This is going to change it. So it's going to say, Hey, Bob, Hey, Mary, Hey, Jill, Hey, Dawn, whatever the name is of the person, it's going to automatically populate here. Now, once you've done that, you're going to click save and publish. And when it's the first email, you're basically going to click on activate. So it's going to be sent zero days after, meaning it's going to send automatically. Now, once I exit this, you're going to see that this is going to be sent straight away. There's no delay. Now, when I do email number two, I'm going to do again, subject plan, save. Obviously I'm not writing any emails. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Hey there, whatever the email is. And then I'm going to do save and publish. And then I'm going to say one day after email number one. So email number one gets sent and one day later, email number two gets sent. So now if you were to look at how this looks, it's going to be email number one. And one day later, it's going to be email number two. Then you're going to keep on adding more emails as follows. So email number three, demo, email, etc. save and publish. And you're going to pick the email number two, whatever the name is. And you can choose to make it so it gets sent two days later as well, if you so wish, right? That's up to you how you want to do that. Click on activate and so on and so forth. Now, once you've gotten this email sequence, however many days you want, what you're going to do is you're going to go back into the funnel. Now in the funnel under squeeze page, what you're going to do is you're going to click on automation rules, funnel step form subscribe. You're going to click on the plus button. You're going to click on subscribe to campaign. Then you're going to choose the campaign. And then because I have a lot of campaigns, you're seeing a lot of them, but I'm just going to click email sequence demo. And what that means is this email sequence is going to trigger straight away. So in that case, you're not going to do send email because send email is just one email. Campaign is multiple emails in a sequence over a few days. So it's important that whatever you write here, this email is actually going to be the first email in the campaign, basically. So that's the difference. So if this is email number one, you want to put this email as the beginning. And that will be what you will do instead of having this email right here. Now, this is just a, a demonstration for a campaign. I'm not actually doing it, so I'm going to delete it but that's how it would work. Now, in order to make your life easier as well, I've got something for you that is going to help you do this and create a good email sequence and a welcome sequence and stuff like that. So this is my email sequence. I also have this template, which is a paid template in my membership and in my course, which is email autoresponder and email sequence in a day. And you can see here that there's a seven day welcome series that has not been scheduled. And when you click into it, you're going to see that hi, first name, it's whatever your name is from your company or whatever. This is the link to the free resource, benefit one, benefit two, benefit three, link to the video, link to my Instagram, whatever, right? And then when you go back, 
you will be able to schedule that and then you're going to do the next email so this will be the next email hey blah this is the info etc etc so basically i'm written and welcome sequence that you can actually customize and this will be imported to your account with one click now in order to see this email sequence you can see that i have this course right here email sequence in a day and I've got various email sequence templates. I have carpet abandonment email sequence. I've got a list re-engagement email template. So all of that stuff, you can see here, here's the different email sequences that I have for you. So you've got a welcome sequence and this one click, when you click on this button, it will instantly import to your system by your account and you'll be able to customize it straight away. So that's what I've got for you. And in case you have other things, for example, you may wanna get your first beta class as a coach, you will use this email campaign. In case you wanna do an email campaign to get someone to book a call with you, you will use this one. In case you wanna do a flash promo, like a Black Friday or a Christmas offer or whatever, you will use this one and so on and so forth. So there's a bunch of different templates along these lines that are available to you. I know some of you might be hiring a professional copywriter to help you. Maybe you are using a different email software. That's okay too. Just you know, we are providing the templates, not just through System.io, but you also get it as Google Doc templates as well. So all the templates you saw are available in Google Doc format or System.io one-click import. So below this video, you're going to see the link to check out how to get access to this course and all the email templates available. You can also go to a run.link forward slash email sequence and check it out. That's about it. I'll see you in the next video.